Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Yes, I finally made it. It is about 33 degrees, 34. This morning at about 10, in Fahrenheit, on Fahrenheit scale, it said it felt like 111. It was over 90 degrees. It was like 95 degrees this morning. I was like boiling. As you can see, I'm still boiling. I'm dressed differently compared to how I was dressed when I did my last video. So, um, I'm going to give you a quick tour of my system and then tell you what I have planned, what plans I have while I'm here. So, if you all remember, I had um, my, well, the batteries are covered now. Before the batteries were just um, open and I'll open, open that and show it to you. Um, before, well, this charge controller came from a client's house, as you can see it's very dirty. Ours is exactly the same. We remove the PV from here and we put it inside the grow wild inverter. So we have the MPPT6150 from uh, Victron that has two kilowatts in panels. There is our Victron Energy uh, Phoenix is on standby. We're not using it right now. And here is our um, grow wild. Now we have a changeover that allows us to switch between the grow wild and the Victron. In the top position, which is where it is now, we're running the Victro, the Growart. In the bottom bottom position, we'll be running the Victron. Um, the fridge is on, and I have my. Let me start to show you my good old American Budweiser. This box for you, as they say. But for my Nigerians, my Nigerian friends, sorry, I have Stabia. So no, no house is complete without some good booze. So now you know that I enjoy having a good time. Okay, so this one just has um, yogurt in it and some food. Now let me come back to my system. So you've seen the inverters. Here is my battery disconnect by ABB. Here are bus bars. Here is our, let me see if I can focus and get closer to it for you. Bear with me real quick. So here is our Victron Energy battery monitor this is a bmv 701 as you can see we're taking 32 watts out i'm not sure it's focusing properly for you to see but right now we're taking 32 watts out of the batteries we're pulled we've we've pulled out 4.3 amp hours so far and the battery is at 96.7 percent full i'm going to show you the um the chargery bear with me let me take this up here is the chargery, um, the screen, and as you can see, uh, let me clear this. It shows you percentage a 14S, our battery is with 7.04 volts at 93%. The Victron is saying 96%. There is a 22 millivolt, now 20 millivolt difference between the highest battery and the lowest battery. I'm um, saying hi, it's not really true. Well, it did say hi. Well, at some point, I exceeded what I programmed as my threshold. Uh, my threshold, I believe, was 4.1, and we saw 4.19 at one point. So that's why you're getting the blinking red signs telling you that I had all the cells go to high except one. So we've built our battery box. It's supposed to be smaller. It's a little too big. You can see it from here. Let me close it. And we have our balancer. It only balances when it gets to 4.17, 4.18 volts, and it doesn't balance below that. I mentioned to you that I have an equalizer and a balancer. I'll connect that tomorrow and I'll run it for you to see how it works. This is a 14S. Sorry, yes, a 14S, even though I have 14, even though I have 14 batteries. Uh, what we did was we connect two in parallel and then we series seven of those two to give us a 14S battery. Okay, now I have a surprise I'm going to show you. And I'll... Hello YouTube, I'm back. And I have this concrete slab that I built. And if anyone can guess what it is, I would love to say I can give you a price, but my viewership is all over. I have people in South Africa, people in Russia, people in Brazil. So I cannot promise you a price, I cannot deliver to you, but I'd like you to guess what is going on in this slab. So while I'm here this time, these are things I'm going to do. So here is my earth cable, and the earth rod is inside. We're going to dig it out, 
and then we're going to use proper earth cabling. As you can see my cabling, we're going to tidy it up a whole lot. The combiner box is no longer inside, it's outside. So we're, we're, I'm, going, I'm sending my team out for training on how to use uh, pipes and how to bend pipes. So the first place we'll do an installation using pipes will be here. So we have um, one, two, three, four. I think we have um, three different sets of panels, which is why you have all these wires. We will we will try to we'll fix it so that we don't have this many wires coming in, coming in. We'll do a junction box up on the roof, and then once the junction box is done on the roof, we'll have fewer wires that are coming down here into a combiner box, or we'll put the combiner box up on the roof and then have fewer wires coming down here, so we could have neat a neater looking. Uh, we have something that looks neater. Here is an electric meter. We've not used it since January of last year because we're not connected to the grill. Sorry, to the grid. So it's no big deal that we're not connected to the grid. We have no intentions whatsoever of being connected to the grid. And we're very happy that we no longer have a grid connection. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos.